Hey everyone, I'm Nick in the States, and it's another episode of Lunch with Liam. This is Liam. Hello. Hello. Quiet hat. Staring. And what we have today, actually, is a Chapman ML3 Modern, which is Rob Chapman's baby, him and Lee Anderton's company. Um, and it's a carved top telly with uh, two passive-aggressive uh, humbuckers in it, um, coil taps, single volume, single tone. Through a flip switch, Glover style tuners, reverse headstock, with a nice uh, tilted back. Um, you can actually click here and you can see the video that I did up uh, a little while ago for the initial overview of the guitar. But now, we're going to play some guitar. I was really digging this one before. So Liam and I played this when it came in, and we went right to the Dr. Z Mini Z kind of setting of higher gain and push on the little guy. Yeah, and we're like, ah, I really don't know if I really dig it or whatnot, but pushing like the big blues, kind of dirty but not filthy Marshall. It's interesting though because it's a whole different volume level. I know it was with it, yeah, it was with it. Oh. This one seems to dip a lot. Yeah, it yeah, drops a lot, but that middle one humbug is it's just a really nice rhythm tone. <laughs>
let's talk about what we think. So, the guitar took me a, a little while to bond with. And actually, yeah. I bonded with the single coils for super clean. I like the humbuckers. Awesome. For, like, mildly dirty blue shit, I thought the, the single coils with a tap played yeah. a lot better to find the tones. Yeah, it's, it's almost, it's just, it's far tighter. And like then, when you're playing, you just feel the tightness of the tone versus like the muddiness if I'm in and all the way up. Uh, and, and then yeah. hard driven, scoop the mids. Mm -hmm. It really seemed to come alive then with the humbucker. So it's 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 got a lot of personality as much yeah, like many can, women that I've dated in yeah, my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can do a lot with it. Um, I, mean, I heard you can do a lot with it. There's a lot of different tones there. It's all over the place. I like it. I dig I, it. Uh, I've described it in another video how I feel. How do you how's it feel in your hands? How do you like the the overall like fit and finish feel that kind of stuff? You know, I'm not really big into the sort of the body thing. I never have been, but honestly, you know, this is probably me being not a telly guy at all. I honestly have liked the way that this neck plays versus anything else I've had um, as far as just Fender in general. Something down those lines. Um, yeah, you know, I, I really like it, honestly. It seems a little thinner on the neck a mm -hmm. bit. Um, it's but, a fat, yeah, it's, a slit. it's supposed to be a, a thin, fast neck, kind of like a yeah, PRS. Um, it, you slide fast on it. Um, you know, you come all the way up, and you're not, my thumb's hitting now. I hit here, and it and my thumb's hitting. That's, that's full. Yeah. I have the full board at my disposal without you know, really having to try. I don't have to stretch it out a, to do anything. It's a man-sized guitar, too. Like, it's heavy, Yeah. and I feel like the, the, the adaptive changes they made to a telly shape it made it just a little bit bigger, a little more rounded. Not a whole lot, but it just feels real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that makes sense. Yeah. You know, like it's. It almost feels like almost like they thinned it out on the neck, but they they gave it like maybe a millimeter to more length up top, space in the strings, so that I can mm -hmm. sort of. I'm not like hitting multiple strings at once, or or doing the slip off stuff where your hands get a little sweaty during a show and you you lose your hand and you just make that sound. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't getting much of that, which is nice. And, you know, it's hot as hell in here and my hands are sweaty. So, <laughs> you know, it's a good way to test it. <laughs> and I, so for me, I think she's going to be a great studio guitar as I start doing a few more projects, which is fun, mess around stuff. Uh, my, my main guitar I used for that for years has been a Michael Kelly Hourglass mm -hmm. uh, quilt top, solid body, no trim, because it had the quilt tops, has a humbucker. So it's really the same setup as this guitar. These pickups are to uh, voice a little different. And I think as a studio tool, much like a PRS-ish thing, I think it'll be useful. I love the Eddie Van Halen, whoever else did it. Yeah. The, the nut adjustment that. with just the little um, Allen at the heel right there without having to take the neck off. Um, so you can see that. Just a little close up there. It's just brilliant, right? Um, and I, I think the guitar is pretty. She's really plain. Ironically, if you flip it over, um, the back is a nicer looking piece of mahogany than the front is. It it is actually. It's a very nice ribbon or three or four pieces of ribbon. I mean, you mahogany. can't even you can't even really tell. I mean, if you look close, you can tell. But yeah, you know, it's a. And if you don't hang know, on your wall, no one's even noticing. These are made at the same factories that make like Deans and PRSSEs and things like that. World Musical Instruments in Korea, um, and you know, I think Rob and Lee and, and the crew over at Chapman Guitars do a really good job. And I respect the hell out of them. I have a YouTube channel. If you have a guitar channel, you. You can't help but tip your hat to what Rob's done and those guys. Um, so it was fun to get this at a great deal. Um, and <laughs> someone else asked me, what did you think of it? When I first got it, because I wasn't in love with the Driven Tones, my first thing was, it comes with a hell of a gig bag. And he's like, that's really got to mean the guitar sucks. I'm like, no, no, but yeah. <laughs> the gig bag is really impressive. Like, how good of a gig bag it is. It is. It's actually pretty nice. <laughs> it's it's super pat. It's just, it's a it's a deluxe diesel gig bag. But, I mean, whatever. Um Anyway, uh, Chapman Guitars in the U.S., I think Riff City, USA, um, is what Joe over at Riff City is a really good dude. I saw, met him at the Chapman Road Show. Um, a bunch of other guys, I think, sell them too. Uh, in, if you're in Europe, Anderton's, I'm not sure if Thoman's carrying them. I think they are. Thoman is carrying them as well. Um, so, anyway, neat guitars. Kind of a fanboy thing, but... I'll be a fanboy for it. I've never liked anything of this body style oh, or this yeah. style in general, and here I am liking it. So congratulations, Chapman. If you're nervous about it, I hunted. I got this for delivered to my door, I think, for 260 US. Really inexpensive. Um, new 560, 570. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a good deal. Not bad for how that plays. Not bad at all. I, I dig it. And they box it really, really well. That's really, it came really well boxed, too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, as always, uh, I've Nick in the States. I'm Liam. And uh, we've got issues. Take care. More to come. All right, everybody.